Hey guys and gals, Xavier here for Hum of the Earth with Adam. Hello. New friend from uh, Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm currently uh, close to the Nairobi airport. If you watch my last video, you'll know that I'm flying to Germany. So I moved here closer to the airport. And there are a few days left in Africa. So might as well make the most of it. Try to get in as many African experiences that I can. <laughs> um, so I've noticed a few times uh, throughout uh, Kenya, people chewing on these uh, leaves. But, um, and even once some uh, kids offered it to me, uh, but I declined just because out of ignorance, I didn't really know what it was, so um, so I declined. But I just met uh, Adam, and yeah. he, he was asking me if I had tried it, and I said no. And he was like, "Oh, you have to try it." I have mine. Yeah, it's <laughs> so amazing. I and, every day I did that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what is it called? Cut. They call it cut. Cut. Other people in Yemen they call it cut, but uh -huh. here they call it by Swahili language mira. Mira. Perfect. And so it's some kind of leaf that people chew on and I guess it, it has some uh, some effects. Uh, so I'll be trying it for the first time uh, today. But uh, since we both have uh, an empty stomach, uh, we're just going to get some food first. Because uh, Adam said that uh, we should eat before. Okay, so we're doing it right here. So let's get some food. Here it is. About uh, a third of the way through here, my plate of beef and ugali, which is the uh, maize meal, corn meal that you find in a lot of <clears throat> Africa. Adam uh, thought we, we didn't get the greatest deal yeah, at for ugali. 150. Yeah. <laughs> ugali is something like uh, what is that? It's corn meal, <laughs> okay. or maize as, as it's typically called here. So it was 150 uh, shilling, 100, uh, so a dollar fifty for a bit of maize, and uh, which Adam was not thrilled about. <laughs> I'm I'm fine with that price, but, <laughs> yeah, but <so> much. <laughs> apparently you can get better around here. But uh, this will do the job to uh, putting a base, and then after that we'll be trying the. It, so nice. it does taste good though. It's good mm. sauce. Wow. And it'll, it'll uh, get us nice and ready for chew it, or you just put it in your mouth and you chew it? No, no, I'm eating it like this. Okay, big ball, put it in your mouth, chew it. I keep it here. You don't swallow it? Then I will feel now like I'm smooth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I keep this one, then I'm just move my mouth slowly like this. Maybe take one hour, two hours. Really? You feel, no. An hour for it to work. Yeah, I mean like you feel you get in high slowly. Oh, okay. You can smoke and you drink something to make you. Uh... Okay. <laughs> so I finished my first mouthful, and. You start feeling nice now. Yeah, I can start to to feel something for sure. Adam thinks it's maybe too early, but. But it is my first time. I'm eating every day. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It is. It's a little bit different. <laughs> so I've had a, a few more uh, bunches, and I'm definitely feeling uh, more of the effects. Um, extra energy, almost like a cup of coffee, and maybe a little extra twist, a little something else there. <laughs> so uh, I'm feeling productive. I'm building my box to uh, fly out. Gonna start taking out the bicycle. Adam's helping me out a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, well, he's talking to me about some parts of the Quran. I'm having a little trouble <laughs> understanding, but uh, I think we'll get there. 
<laughs> yeah, we're talking about religions, you know, many questions we have to ask ourselves about it. Definitely. Yeah, I'm not the other man. <laughs> <laughs> Kibar one is 1200. <laughs> okay, let me think about that. <laughs> okay, good night. The next day. So, once I started working on putting the uh, bicycle uh, into the box, etc., and just packing up, I stopped uh, using the cot. And I did find that the effects uh, wore off fairly quickly. But I wasn't left with any type of kind of hangover or withdrawal or um, anything really too negative. Um, I managed to go to sleep pretty well and get some good sleep. And this morning I uh, googled cot. Actually, the night before, Adam had showed me how to write it. That kind of rang a bell for me in my mind when I saw the word Rin that I had seen a kind of documentary style video on YouTube about it. And I think it was a video about Somali pirates and how uh, they were mostly all uh, addicted to cot and uh, taking it on a uh, regular uh, basis pretty much every day. And I kind of vaguely remember that it had some uh, negative aspects to it, uh, obviously addiction uh, being one of them. Um, but again, I feel fine. Uh, I didn't end up doing any uh, pirating last night, so that's good. Uh, maybe we should check on Adam to see what happened with him. So how did your cot taking go last night? <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems that our friend Adam ended up taking more cot than I did. And the result being him experiencing one of the common side effects of the substance and that is insomnia. Other side effects can include anxiety and hypertension. So I guess I was lucky that I stopped at the time that I did or else I too may have been deprived of sleep. Yeah, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do not recommend or endorse or encourage uh, consuming cot. Um, it's not a uh, substance that's been researched a lot. There's still a lot unknown about it uh, in regards to its impact on health, etc. And also, as mentioned in the beginning of the video, it is illegal in a lot of places. But I hope you enjoyed the video and perhaps learned something from one of Kenya's pastimes. Kat is also uh, very popular in Yemen, Ethiopia, and a few other countries. If you'd like to see more of Kenya, I've made a few videos of Nairobi, which is Kenya's capital city, and a video of southern Kenya. I was here as part of a journey bicycling from Cape Town, South Africa, all the way to here, Nairobi, Kenya. And I've made many videos of the journey, and they're all available on this same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. And before that, I bicycled from Canada, where I'm from, all the, way, all the way to Southern Patagonia in Argentina. And once again, those videos are also available on this same YouTube channel. And if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I got to go and everything that I got to see and do, that is available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of these places. Next up on Hamid the Earth, I'm going to be flying to Germany and beginning a new journey bicycling through Central and Eastern Europe. So if you want to keep up 
with that adventure, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed or were uh, informed a little bit. That's going to do it. Have a good one.